everyone, it's Hannah, and I have my first Halloween tutorial of 2015. Boop -ba -doo. It is candy corn related. If you watched last year's tutorial, I made a crochet candy corn. It was super adorable. So cute. But in that video I mentioned how, I, how you can't get candy corn here. So it's kind of strange that I decided to make a candy corn related thing again. But I just thought it was really cute because it is. I'm going to show you how to make a candy corn peyote bracelet using odd count peyote, which is the same stitch that I used in my peyote name bracelet tutorial, which I will link in the description box and also on the screen. This is a super easy bracelet to make. It's perfect for beginners. There's just, it might take you a little bit to get your head around odd count peyote, but I believe in you. I know that you'll be able to do it. I have faith in you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and with all that being said let's just hop on with the tutorial shall we? So here is the list of all the supplies that you are going to need. Please feel free to pause this video and make a note if you need to or just gather your supplies. You don't have to use these exact colours they're just the ones that I have used. So attach your stopper bead or your bead stopper and leave a, about a 10 to 15 centimetre tail at the end and then we're going to pick up one black bead, one yellow one orange, one white, and then three black beads. We're going to scoot these down our thread all the way down to the stopper bead, pick up another black bead, then you're going to skip that first black bead and go through the second. Pick up another black bead, skip the next black bead, go through the white bead. Pick up an orange bead and go through that next yellow bead. Then you're going to go through the next black bead without picking up another bead at the moment. And now you're going to pick up another black bead. You're going to go through that yellow bead back towards yourself through the bottom orange bead and pull your needle all the way through. And now you're going to go through the orange bead directly above it and then through the yellow bead and then the bottom black bead. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do old count peyote, please check out my uh, peyote, peyote name bracelet video. It makes a lot more sense. Then you're going to go back through that black bead we've just picked up and attached. Now we're filling in the gaps. So pick up a yellow bead and go through the next orange bead. Picking up a black bead. Oh, taking bead stopper off, it's getting them away. But yes, picking up a black bead and then going through the next black bead. The lighting is going to change quite a lot in this. Picking up a yellow bead and go through the next black bead. Yes, the lighting is going to change quite a lot in this just because that is how life goes. Sorry, hopefully you can still see everything. Now I'm picking up another black bead and going through that yellow bead. And then making sure to keep your work nice and tight. Picking up an orange bead and going through the next black bead. Picking up the next black bead and going through both the next yellow bead and the next black bead. And then pick up another black bead, you're going to go through that yellow bead back towards yourself, through the orange bead neck down next to it. And then you're going to go through that black bead, the yellow bead, and then the bottom black bead. Making sure it doesn't get hooked around your work. Now you're going to go back through that black bead we just attached, back towards yourself. And now you're ready to pick up another black bead, and then go through the next black bead. Pick up a white bead and go through the next orange bead. 
and then pick up a yellow bead and go through the next black bead. And pick up another black bead and go through the next yellow bead. It gets quite repetitive. I'm going to make a pattern for this and pop it on my blog, the link to which will be in the description box below, so you can check it out and follow the pattern as well. Pick up an orange bead and then go through that next white bead. Pick up a black bead, then you're going to go through both of those black beads. Making sure all beads are sitting straight. Pick up another black bead. You're going to go through that center black bead and then the one down below it. You've, you've got the gist by now. I'm just going to refer to this as the twiddly bit at the end. Now you're going to pick up a yellow bead and go through that next black bead towards yourself. Pick up a black bead and go through the orange bead. And pick up another yellow bead and go through that final black bead. And pick up a black bead and go through the next yellow bead. Pick up a black bead and go through the next black bead. Pick up an orange bead and go through the next yellow bead and the next black bead. Now you're going to do the twiddly bit on the end, picking up a black bead. The change of lighting is getting on my nerves. Sorry, everyone. Started out to be quite nice weather and then the clouds went away. And clouds are quite nice if you're trying to film things. But you're just going to continue this pattern until your bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist. And then I'm gonna show you how to decrease in a short moment. Like I say, link to the pattern will be in the description box below, so you can follow along with that, because that might make a lot more sense. So once your bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist, you are going to do a row of just black beads. I don't know, I think it finishes it off, makes it look a bit nicer. We're going to decrease. We've got our three decreasing ones there. Then you're just going to wheel around a bit so you can come out of that last bead we've just attached with the needle facing away from you. Once again, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I decrease, please check out my peyote name bracelet. It's all very thoroughly explained in there. Now we have another black bead and going through that next black bead along. Pick up another black bead and go through that next black bead. Wiggle around so you're coming out of the black bead you've just attached. And this point's important to point out not to force your needle through your beads because if it breaks, it's going to be a pain in the foot to get back to it and replace the bead. Speaking from experience. So this is the final bead of the decrease, the ones in the center, which is why it has to be odd count peyote, otherwise it'll be slightly askew. Then you're gonna wiggle around so you're coming back out of that center bead. Pick up five black beads. Then you're going to go back through that center bead we just attached to make a loop. Then you're going to go through all five of those beads you've just threaded on. 
just for a little bit of extra stability. And then back through that final decreasing bead we attached. Now you are going to sew back through your work and finish it off and snip off the excess. Then you can add whichever clasp you want to add onto the loops and your bracelet is ready to wear. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Your support, as always, means a lot to me and please feel free to subscribe. I post a new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday and sometimes a bonus one in the week as well. So I'd love it if you stuck around, hit subscribe and join the party that is in the corner of craft. I have quite a few Halloween tutorials planned, but if there was something in particular that you wanted to see, don't forget to leave a comment down below, let me know what it is and I'll see if I can make that happen for you. If you do decide to recreate anything using one of my tutorials, I would love to see a picture of it, so please feel free to post a picture on any social media using the hashtag the corner of craft so I can check it out and see how talented you all are. Links to all of my social media are in the description box below as always, as well as a list of all the ingredients, I suppose, that I used to make this really cute bracelet and where I bought the supplies. We are so, so close to hitting 10,000 subscribers and it really mean a lot to me if you did hit subscribe because that would just be super exciting. I'd like to get to 10,000, thank you. But yes, with all that being said, I shall see you very soon in my next video, bye. Hey everyone, it's Hannah and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute felt owl phone case. I was inspired by Sarah from So Craftastic's Pop Tart phone case tutorial last week and decided to make my own version that isn't in fact a Pop Tart at all and make them owls because I think that is quite autumnal.